Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Bailey's right here, you silly. <laughs> okay, Ruben. Let's get our slides up. There we go. Hi, hey, Brack Attack. Gentry and Emma. Oh, there's the dog. Bracken, I saw your grandma this morning. You got what do you call her, Mimi? No, you call her. Pam the Gam, Gam. I saw Gam this morning. Are you guys? You're going. You're coming with your parents next week, right? To church. Yes. Yeah. I hope so. We got a table ready for you. All right, Parkers. We know Mom's gonna be there because well, she's telling the story to this morning, isn't she? Hi. <laughs> Everybody's at church. Yeah, we got to go to Grandma's house after this, so we didn't want Rob to have to drive back to Port Ranch to go back to Newburgh. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, we know. We live in the middle of nowhere. We know. Here, turn here. Girls, how did school go this week? And Bracken. School go okay? I guess it did, but one day that our internet, all the Henderson County schools, the internet went out. So did you have the day off from school or what? We didn't really have a day <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you do when the internet goes out and you can't see your teeth? They send you a text at 730 and say, just do your Google Meets from home. <laughs> oh my God. Because you already got your coffee and everything. I feel for you guys. A bummer. We're still kicking in school, so. You did? How'd it go for you? you Wave to everybody. Yeah. Hey, are we gonna have any more people this morning? Wave. It may just be us, guys. I don't know. That's okay. It's our final Zoom, guys. Are you sad or are you excited to be in person? You're, <laughs> you're not sad. You're probably excited because all these people you'll see at these tables next week. And you'll be able to say hello. All right. Well, we're going to give them two more minutes before we start this bad boy. There's Rick and Lee. Yeah, see, she says bad boy too. Thank you. I hate when mom says that. <laughs> It's probably our generation. It must be from something. Yeah. Yeah. They get so mad. We were cleaning out closets. And I said, bad boys. Embarrassing. Oh. Moms are so embarrassing. Yes. Hey, Grant. How's it going? Oh, I'm going to 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 five almost five after our starting so hey everyone you picked a great day to be here in our virtual jump and my name is nikki and we're here to talk about do you guys remember what are we talking about this month Start Cre Cre almost nope creativity right. so <laughs> 
creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image, right? So God made each of us in his image. He made us to be like him, right? So we can use the creativity he gave us to make a difference in the world around us. So speaking of creativity, let's play a creative game. I really love to be creative in the kitchen when I'm baking. <laughs> so two, create, two ingredients I often use are these two things. Do you know what they are? Salt. 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 Sugar. Sugar. Salt. Sugar. Right? So they look a lot alike, right? You see them? They look a lot alike. But they taste really different, don't they? Right? So yeah. if you mix them up when you're baking, it could be a super big problem. Actually, a lot of foods use sugar and salt, but you've got to have the perfect amount in each one to just get the flavor right. So for this game, I'm going to name some foods someone might make. And I want you to vote if you think it, the recipe calls for more sugar, more sugar, or for more salt, right? So if you think the recipe uses more sugar, you can raise both hands in the air because that's you're going crazy during the sugar. Yep. Hi, right? And if you think the recipe calls for more salt, you can just be like, Make a face, right? Do a face, Bracken. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so sugar is this, salt is, right? Good job, Grant, good job. All right, so are you guys ready? Yep. Let's get this party started. Do you think it calls for more sugar, this image, or for salt? Hands up in the air like this. What do you think, Bracken? I don't see you doing anything. Sugar or salt? There you go. You guys are right. Those are pixie sticks. That's definitely sugar, right? That's just nothing but sugar, guys. So, anyways, let's go to our next one. Sugar or salt? Salt. Oh. Yeah, make your face go. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. You guys are right. Potato chips. Those are salty and good. Mm -hmm. I love chips too. I love chips over sugar. Sorry, guys. I love chips. All right. Sugar or salt? Sugar. Sugar. What do you think, Gentry and Gemma? Sugar. Sugar. Looks like everybody's hands are up in the air for that. Right, Bailey? Oh, chocolate chip cookies are definitely more sugar. But you do have salt in them. Yes, you do have salt, but it calls for more sugar. <laughs> All right, next. Sugar. Sugar. Or salt. What is that? Yeah, sugar. Ice cream. All this food is making me hungry. And racking me and really making me hungry. <laughs> All right, so I see a lot of sugar for ice cream, and I believe you guys are right. Good job, sugar. All right, next. Do you guys even know what this is? Guacamole. 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 All right, so does guacamole have more sugar or salt? Salt. 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 Okay. Yes, you guys are right. Guacamole calls for more salt. And it's good too. Mm. What about a pretzel? Sugar or salt? You think it has sugar? Some pretzels probably do have some sugar on them, but it's more salt. Look at all the salt right there. Yeah, but if you go to Holiday World, you can get like a sugary cinnamon one. Yeah. All right. All right. Next one. Sugar or salt? You guys were right. Brownies. Those are brownies. Yeah, those are brownies, and they look oh, yummy. Stop now. Stop. Now. 
All right. Ooh, look at that. Is that more sugar or salt? Yes, you guys are right. That is way more sugar than salt. Only the cake has salt in it. Yeah, it does, but it calls for way more sugar. That's why we're saying more sugar or more salt. All right. How about these bad boys? Go like this. Mm. Yeah. You guys are right. It's more salt. I love me some broccoli. Yum, yum. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable. Okay, how about that? More sugar or salt? Make your face. You guys are right. That's more. Oh, wait, more sugar. That was a trick one. Oh, sugar. Sugar. Okay. oh because tomatoes are a fruit. That's why. Well, no, there's, it makes it sweet. The ketchup. Yeah, ketchup. I think they were talking about the ketchup. I got a little tripped up because of the fries. The fries would be. This is a little bit of a tricky one. So, yes, the ketchup has more sugar in it. All right, guys. Good job using your noggins. Eight. We're going to head over to the story with Miss Michelle. Okay. All right. Let's switch up here, girls. Okay. Oh, okay. Trying to have that glare behind me. Hey, guys. All right. So today I am going to have to have some assistance. And unfortunately, since you guys are there and we're here, I only have two choices. So, all right. When Jesus lived on earth over 2,000 years ago, <laughs> sorry, crowds of people followed him everywhere he went. They wanted to see Jesus and hear his teaching. One day, as a crowd was gathering, Jesus went up on a mountainside and taught his disciples. And this is what he said from Matthew 5 13. You are the salt of the earth, but suppose the salt loses its saltiness. How can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything. It will be thrown out and people will walk on it. Um, so that's pretty much in interesting. God said we are salt. Now he didn't say to be salty, as my husband reminds me. He said be the salt. And let's see if we can understand what he meant by that. Oh, so. Excuse okay. me, I think I can help with this with my little hat. Mm. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, um, I do not know who you are referring to, but I am the world famous critic, food critic in Estelle de Flavor. Uh, <laughs> Estelle de, de what? <laughs> Never you mind, I'm here to help uh, you. <laughs> okay, I, how are you going to help me exactly? You were about to explain the saltiness of the people, and I thought I could do that for you. But first, I need some help, right? Here. So, I have some salty chips right here. I baked them myself. I need you to pick just one and try these salty chips. Try one. You too. Just one. Thank you. Oh my. There we go. Now I have the unsalted chips. All right. Try an unsalted chips. Which one is the better? That one. She has indicated the salted chip is, is the better one. And I think she, they, they all say the salted chips are the better. And I think we can agree with them. Salty is always better. Yes, yes. Uh, salty is the better, the end. You are welcome. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I don't think uh, that's not exactly what Jesus meant, Estelle de Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Salt makes things taste better. I don't know if you guys ever had a recipe where salt accidentally got left out, but you'll notice. In fact, salt was really valuable back in Jesus' time. The point is that we can make people's lives better 
Kind of like salt makes food taste better. Jesus was saying that we can show others how good God is with our actions and the way we live. We can be salty when we treat others the way we want to be treated. And we need to be careful not to lose our saltiness. Let's see what else Jesus told his friends that night. In Matthew 5, 14 through 15, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill can't be hidden. Also, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. All right, Jesus said we aren't just salt, but we're also the light. Uh, guys, what just happened? Hey, girls, did you turn the lights off? No. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to teach something. I can't read the story in the dark. Who turned the lights off? Uh, come on. What, what are you doing? Oh. What, what, oh. Oh, wow. Well, thanks. All right. We're a lot better off when we have enough light to see. And oh, oh, awesome. And what we're doing, it's the same way with people. When we love others and live the way Jesus taught us to live, it's like we bring light into people's lives. Jesus said, you are the light of the world and we can shine our light by doing good things for the people around us. What happens when we let our light shine so others can see it? Well, people will see the good things we do, and that will help them understand what God is like. When we use our creativity, for instance, glow sticks when the lights go out, to help others, we share God's story and show what God is doing in our lives. All right, let's try something fun. I need you guys to think of something, something you could do kind for someone else. So everybody think for just a minute. What's something you could do kind for someone else? Kind for something else. Or someone else. For nice. If you wanted to be nice to someone, what would you do? Um, I would do nice words to them, what would you do? I would uh, share your toys. That's a good one. If somebody has so much you can open them up. Okay. okay. So we've got help carry carry stuff for other people, share their toys, or say nice words. That's what they've said. Gentry said help carry groceries because she knows that's always my thing. Is somebody yeah. opens them and help me carry in the groceries. A good one. Oh. 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 Help with farming or something. Well, sometimes with her papa, because he can't walk, she gets out and opens gates and does stuff like that that he can't do. That's a good one. What about you, Bracken? Or help someone out. I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Open the door. Yes. Help someone. Open the door for someone else. That's a good one. All right. Do we hear from everybody? I don't know if we can hear Grant or Maggie. Grant, Maggie, what can you guys do to help show not kindness to other people? Heard something about your mom. Carry my mom's person. Oh, carry your mom's person. That's a good one. Maggie, you got one? What'd you say? Did you say coffee? What'd you say? Help. Oh, that's nice. All right. Good job, guys. 
Those are all some amazing and creative ways to let God's light shine for others. And right now, we definitely need to be shining God's light. You and I can be the salt, and we had some salted pretzels because those are my favorite, and the light. Just like salt makes food taste better, we can make people's lives better. We can, thank you, can I borrow this? <laughs> we can shine the light of God's love and we treat others with love and kindness. We can use our creativity to point others to God and we can show people what a difference he has made in our lives with the way we live our life every day. The bottom line is God created you to share his story. All right, let's pray, guys, and ask God to help us live this way. Dear God, thank you for creating us in your image. It's so cool how you created us to be like salt and light as we share your story with others. Please help us treat people with love and kindness every day. We want our lives to show all that you've done for us. We love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Michelle. God's story is good news for everyone, everyone, no matter who they are. And with God's help, we can share it with others. So how do we do that? Well, we can tell people about God and we can share all that he's done and we can tell them how much God loves them, but we can also show them. That's what it means to be the salt and the light. When we're kind to people, we're showing them that God is kind. When we're patient with people, we're showing them that God is patient. And when we love people, we are showing them that God loves them more than they could ever imagine. So we're going to remember today, guys, God created you to share his story. You guys say that? God created you to share his story. It isn't just about the words you say. God made you in his image. And that means you can use your creativity to share his story in all other kinds of ways. You can share his story with art, with music, or even just being a good friend. Whatever gift or talent God gave you, you can use it to share his story with others. So we're going to go ahead to our Kahoot time. I'm down here, Ruben, because Bailey doesn't let Bailey help me. Oh, I got to make. I'm back up. Back up. I can get us right next to you. Oh, okay, Ruben, chill. There you go, Courtney. There we go. Two nine nine one. Nine one. Pop it up. Let's go. Let's open your mouth. Let's open your mouth. Fire Grant. Ooh, you got a new name. Fire Grant. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Fire Grant. So we're waiting on Maggie, Gemma, and Gentry. Four. Four girls. Everybody. Maggie, are you joining separately from Grant? Is Maggie joining Grant? Um, I'm there she is. Okay, everybody ready? You guys ready? Chomp on the chip, Ruben. Get ready. 
Number one, Jesus said people are like bananas, salt, pepper, or donuts. Salt. Good job. Yeah, clearly. Good job. Jesus said people were like the salt of the earth. Parker girls in first place. Hey, girls. Number two, back in Jesus' day, salt was very cheap, easy to get, valuable, or expensive. Expensive. Yeah. Well, valuable you know what valuable means it's really important yeah valuable and expensive i put both of those so if you answered either one of those but it was hard to get right that's why jesus said that we were like the salt of the earth okay. i went fast and too fast sorry number three just like salt makes food better we can make donuts people's lives better people's lives worse or a difference in the world Different in the world. There might be a couple of these that work. Yeah, good job. We can make people's lives better and we can make a difference in the world too. Grant in the lead. <laughs> Jesus said we are also dark, light, Lady Gaga, or quiet. <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Racken just loves it when you have that option on there. <laughs> I have Lady Gaga all the time. I don't know what the obsession is. Yeah, Jesus said we are also light. Good job. Parker girls in the lead. Three points. How can we shine our light for others? Do Oops, I should say do good things for others. Use our creativity for good. Be mean to our friends or not help our friends. How could we shine our light? Shine your light, Bailey. Huh? How can you shine your light? Yeah, we could do good things for others and use our creativity for good. That's how we could shine our light. Good job. Are you coming to church next week? Yes, I should. All of you better be saying a certain answer. Yes, I should. That's right. <laughs> Watch out. An easy one. In third place, we have Ruby, Ruby, Rebecca, and Bailey. In second place, the Parker girls. And in first place, Grant. Good job. Grant. That's right. I've got all your guys' tables ready for next week. We're ready to be back at it, right? <laughs> I'm ready to see y'all in person. Is the coronavirus over? Well, it's not over, <laughs> Bailey. It's just we're going to have to be able to sit at tables with masks and stuff. Why don't you just go get My that? brother and dad are going to be at home because Jensen can't come. I, I totally get that, and I would leave right at home, too, if I had to. Well, Mom's going to be at home, and Dad's going to be at church uh, because he has to play for the band. He's going to play Thank for the band? I mean, yeah, he's going to play <laughs> Me? I don't know, but he's in the band toy, I think he is. Oh, you're talking about for Youth Sunday. I think that's in two weeks. I think it's the second Sunday in September, so. I don't know. All righty, guys. We'll see your faces here at church next week. Hopefully. All right, thumbs up. We'll see you guys later, all right? Bye, Bye Grant. Bye, Maggie. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.